Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. And today I've got one of my favorite guitars on my lap. This is a 2020 Ryan Gerber. Now this is the RL16, so this is his biggest one across. Um, but it doesn't really feel too cumbersome, especially with this micro bevel here. It just feels like just the right size. Now it features a master grade Swiss top <laughs> the way that Ryan voices these is so friggin' special. Now, he put this Swiss over top of what's called the Fallen Giant Mahogany. And this is a real special cut. It just looks so watery. Now, he chose to go ahead and bind it all the way around with Coca Bolo. Um, with a little thin strip of flamed maple to make it pop a little here. Now you also got the Coca Bolo heel cap here into a one piece mahogany neck. Um, but when you look down, you'll notice that, well, that trim down the fretboard looks not quite black. It's actually, it's a Brazilian rosewood fretboard um, and binding. And it's got just a little thin piece of maple just separating it from the neck. It just looks so classy. And another thing that I want to mention that is so awesome about Gerber's guitars is the plane from where the neck meets to the top is so bone straight, you could just stare at this for hours. It's so gorgeous. Um, now, as you get into the headstock here, he does a very special bird's beak um, neck joint here at the headstock and what I love about that is he's able to put a different piece of um, back cap here and still have the mahogany diamond piece kicking out there um, but it's got a really lovely burled head cap here with Ryan's logo. Now uh, it's fairly standard specs minus the fact that the nut width is subtracted just a 32nd of an inch so it's just under uh, one and three fourths, and then two and a quarter down here at the saddle. But I've had lots of conversations with Gerber about the way he sets these things up, uh, and I use his numbers for now on because wow, there no note farts out, and it is so easy to play, and you get maximum tone out of every note up and down the fretboard. It's one of the most mind-boggling guitars I've ever played every time I touch one of his guitars. Now, um, another thing that I want to mention is that the single note separation is so important for fingerstyle in getting a real solid melody 
This guitar is one of the most unique fingerstyle playing instruments I've ever come across. So, um, his voicing is very special. It's inspired by Samaji stuff, but a little different. And he's just got it, he's got it going on. He really listens to both the top and the box separately and then figuring out how to join them together. And he's, he's one of the best I've ever seen. So if you got any further questions about this RL-16, message me or message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com and thanks for listening.